Well, how are you going? This is the copy of the amendment that I presented on your behalf today in the Tasmanian Parliament. Excellent. Local Government Powers to Regulate Electronic Gaming Machines Amendment Bill 2012. That's uh, good. And look, I'd like to thank your group for campaigning to uh, save vulnerable Tasmanians from the uh, effects of poker machines, which is wreaking havoc, of course, across the Tasmanian landscape. I'm very proud to be able to represent you as a group. Thank you. You'll note that uh, the, most of the machines are in Glenorchy, and I understand that's the reason you put this forward, because that's the poor area of uh, Tasmania. And one of the things I've thought about this is it's one of the greatest transfers of wealth, but in this case it's from the poor to the wealthy. It's the most unfair thing that's happen happening in Australia to the poor people of Australia, and they have no representation from anybody. The Labor Party does not care. At the moment, both of them, uh, I understand, accept political donations of the uh, Federal Hotel Group, um, which of course uh, means that, uh, in my view, when they go into Parliament and debate these issues, uh, they're thinking about political donations rather than the, uh, the vulnerable in Tasmania and the effect that this has on the economy. Well, I think one of the things to note here is that the uh, Federal Hotels pay hundreds of thousands to the, to the major political parties, as you've said. But they corrupt the whole system by doing it, as you've said. And I hope that this stops the problem, stops the rot in our society from gaming. What do you think, uh, you know, your group's been looking into this for some time. What do you think about the losses of $615,000 every single day that are lost in Tasmania down the throats of poker machines and the effect that has on the local economy and, uh, of course, the uh, individuals whose families are bankrupted as a result of addiction to a poker machine. Well, 615000 is a powerful amount of money. It's the equivalent of one and a half houses every day. It's the equivalent of 400 jobs every day. It's the equivalent of seeing $615,000 not go to your local businesses. It doesn't hit your main street and it doesn't pay wages. It just disappears out of the community. And it's something that Tasmanians have to change. We have to change this. Do you think that there's a, there'd be any benefit in having a parliamentary inquiry into what's happened to the uh, billions of dollars that have been lost uh, by poker machine addicts in the main that have gone straight into the pockets of the federal group and what's happened to that over this, what, 14 odd years since the uh, uh, machines were rolled out in Tasmania? But I think the answer to that is self-evident. The money has been taken away. And that's why this island is, is in poverty. That's why we have no growth in employment. It's why we have a stagnant, stagnant relationship with innovation here. When you have a monopoly governing and controlling everything, what you do is reduce competition. And it's one of the sins of what, what has happened here. It's a follow through, it's a side effect, and it's a terrible side effect to Tasmania. We're back to the 90s when there were empty houses in the streets. We're back to the 90s when the wages you know, just aren't being paid at, at, at the same high level as they are on the mainland. We're back to the early 90s when um, poverty was everywhere. And this is what is going to happen to this island again because it's too stupid to realise that if you don't save your money properly, it gets wasted, and we're not saving our money properly. Of course, the uh, other reality is, is that the, uh, of course, you'd be aware that there's a $1 bet limit committee at the moment set up by Parliament to investigate the costs uh, of implementing a $1 bet limit into Tasmania. And uh, during that uh, committee hearing, uh, Greg Farrell, of course, from uh, Marlowa Holdings Federal Group, and the beneficiary of the pokey uh, monopoly deed um, admitted that uh, the money that they earned, 120 odd million dollars per year, was light, probably something like 140, which indicates over 14, 15 odd years that the federal group have got, it must be getting approaching three million dollars now. I, I was there at that uh, committee meeting and I thought it was an obscene contempt the way uh, Farrell treated the committee. He turned up with his accountant. His accountant was asked a straight question. The question was, what is the gross profit made from gaming machines? The accountant who's in charge of Malawa Holdings sat there for three minutes tongue-tied and finally said, in desperation, panic, I don't know. His boss, 
was questioned by Kim Booth and um, he was said, uh, he was asked if 120 million was the appropriate amount of money. Greg Farrell leant back in his chair, looking quite at ease with himself. He smiled wanly and he said to Kim Booth, 120 million, that's a bit light on. Sad, sad, sad thing for Tasmania when you're prepared to allow these people to take that much money out of our economy.